one is port. So we're, ta we're taking Callie now on her first ever uh, Harbor Freight trip. Never been. Never been. So we're going to go bend. I can't wait to. We need, we need to get her some tools. We need to get maybe one of those bleed funnel things that I'm not sure if they even have. I don't think. My dad was telling me that that thing isn't going to do what we want it to do. Boy. Kind of intense. Home is you. I wonder what his banner says. Don't be that. Don't be that one. Come again, me please. So these are $179.99, right? How many drawers is that? Five drawer? Mm -hmm. And this one right here, $189.99. We'll get the eight drawer. I guess I need to freaking buy this shit, damn it. I wanna spend money. But I need a toolbox, an actual toolbox, because we don't have one. Weird to me. Ah. Uh, that like I'm buying a toolbox. <laughs> and you got a tool cart. Her tool cart was $30. This was $189, whatever it was, without tax. Um, I don't know, we, we gotta look at the receipt. I'm curious, like, how much I spent getting you, like, fully hooked up with, like, what you need for right now. I gotta look at the receipt. Where's the receipt? It's over there. 56 plus 13. Alright, so, Six all of Callie's stuff, basically, would be, the only thing I got for myself was the toolbox, so, 288 minus 189, go. That's 100. 288 uh, minus That's about 100. Really? Damien, think about it. 288 know, I, I minus know, 188. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. See, I can do basic math. <laughs> Just wait. I bet, you, I, bet, I bet you guys don't have a cat that goes through a cat door. I don't think you do either. I do. So we go. No, just, just wait. Here we go. Don't worry about it. He, he guns You it. sure? He's like, come on, guys. No, watch, 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 watch. Go, back, go back inside. Go back inside, yeah. He's a little shy right now. No, I won't be able to see it. Yeah, I know. You just gotta close the door. Stop. He sees you. Stop. <laughs> Stop. He sees you. There you go, oh. boom. <laughs> Alright, there go my childhood of things. Alright, what, what do I got in here? What do there I got go in here? my childhood of things. Yes, look. First of all, there's some prelude headlights. Clear corners, that's of course. Headlight. Yeah, it's one, but it's a custom black housing. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, this one's good. The other one, it needs a lens. The other one, oh, it definitely it needs a lens. That looks like a kooky headlight, right? If the, if the corner light yeah. was pointy. Yeah. This one has a crack. Um, you gotta use this oil cooler. I'm down. I just won't get a stand-up shower. I'll get like an actual bathtub with no other option other than bath. Uh, VQ valve covers, Cal Pal. There you go. Ooh. Why? Because... What do I need this for? Yours probably leak. Yours do leak. This is the plate I drove around with my cord. It's it's dumb old. <laughs> Cops gave me an A for effort. I didn't get pulled over. But yeah, I had this like filing. Look at that fox. Boom. I was a dirt bike boy. That's my old sprocket. Look how junk that Why shit did was. Why you do this? I don't know. I was just Were really really bored. Artsy? I was just really bored, and I was like, you know what? I don't have a toolbox, and I'm too poor to go get a toolbox. So I have this. Oh, I have my chest protector still. From my dirt bike days. Yeah. Oh, Look at that. Still some dirt on it. No big deal. Get yourself a country boy. Someone <laughs> goes, someone goes, I want a country girl like Callie. I'm like, <laughs> uh, first of all. Oh, if anyone, if anyone wants, I have a bunch of, I have a shit ton of old OEM Opal parts. So if anyone's building an Opal, let me know. I will ship these parts out. Uh, I, I have a whole backpack of Opal parts for you guys. Look at this Opal. What's this? This is all new old stock. Don't ask me why I have it. Just know, 
I have the stock oil gauge for an opal. We gotta build an opal. I don't even know where they sell opals. We'll find one. I, but, I, but I do, but I do know that I have a bunch of opal parts. So if you guys need opal parts, let me know. We're gonna dig through all my stuff in my garage and take what we can. And uh, maybe I'll give Travis this filing cabinet so he can like have his tools inside something. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do all that. Is this, is this relatable for you guys? Is this hashtag relatable? These are all like the tool sets but I've gotten throughout my childhood. Do I? I don't, probably not, honestly. And that will be the most relatable. Oh my god, an 11! Oh. Yeah, there probably isn't a single 10 mil in here, but these are all like the little tool sets I get for Christmas and stuff when I was younger. And they're all like empty and fucked. But not really because they're going to be passed on to Cal Pal. You know, Cal Pal? I like that sitting stance. It just looks funny from this angle. Completely forgot I own this, so I'll be taking this to the shop also. So in high school I made this like toolbox thing with like rivets and bends and stuff in manufacturing class. And it was my also first toolbox and I will be passing it down to Callie. <laughs> See what she says. <laughs> you like it? Oh, we got the monster sticker. Oh yeah, you already know. You know, but it's sturdy as heck. Maybe you want to do a little refurb on it, sand it down, get the rust off. Paint it. Paint it, yeah. Paint it white. Paint it whatever color you I want. I got engine, white engine enamel in my oh, car. Okay. Actually, I think it's broken. Look, it comes with the glove that I should have been wearing on that bike. Comes with a really big socket. Comes with the Matco, a Matco wrench that used to be like hurry because it's really late yeah there's a torque wrench in there too you can use that because i never will crazy <laughs> oh, yeah it's a, it's a little heavy sick well now that it's nine we're at the shop this is definitely the latest we've ever been here well arrived <laughs> yeah that's right you get your brand new really heavy tool really cart heavy? super heavy tool cart by yourself you're an independent you're an independent young woman I really hope my box is not, like, has this many bolts. I hope it's mostly assembled. I'm sure it, it should be because there's a lot in there, but... Yeah, I'm assuming the wheels go on this one, and then the side pieces, blah, 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 blah. Is there some teamwork? Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, dude, be, a, be a hand model right now. Hold on, hold on. No, my nails aren't done. Like, they're just very poorly done. Yes, very good. Not very even, but it's, you know... There isn't a handle placement, but I'm going to leave it and get used to it. You said that's how you do it at work. No, I, you just kept confusing me. Well, I think I'm... I'm you a, said you wanted the front to steer. Okay. It, don't, it doesn't really matter. You can put it wherever you want. Yeah. Besides on the side. If you want it there, I'll weld it. Just so you can walk next to it like this. Oh, man, dude. The wrinkle coat on this is fucking dope. Ooh, got that OEM brake booster, Jimmy Oaks edition jammy right here. Look at that. So I'm a little bit scared because I can't find the key, but I think I might have to take this compartment out. Forgive me if uh, I'm not an expert on this. As I've mentioned, this is the first toolbox I've ever owned. Uh... Yeah, it's a monumental moment. Look at that. We eating good now, so I got to get a toolbox, you know what I mean? We made it out the, the hood. We made it out the hood. I ain't going back. So I just had to pull that thing out. And then this opens. And then this comes out. And that goes over there. And then this comes out. Equally over there. Shit. My OEM. My butt. It hurts. They missed the spot on my on the wrinkle paint. Boof ass toolbox. Yeah, gets really exciting, She's telling me about how her and her dad used to go to coin shows. Is she? No. No, of course not. Coin shows sound really fun. I need to show you my coin collection one day. <laughs> I haven't checked on them in so long. Tone more. Tone more? Yeah. I, use, I really like toning coins. So I have a lot of toning coins in there. And I haven't checked on them in like at least a year. At least a year, huh? Mm -hmm. Quite the enthusiast. What is this? 
What? Looks like an LED bulb. All right, it's freaking looking uh, pretty decent. Now, I gotta figure out how to how to open these damn things. So I just use this here magnet to uh, to open these, and uh, all the handles were in there, so I'll get to doing that. Uh, I have to film up. Okay, well, don't touch my hair. Why? It's cool. I'm not gonna throw a mess Stop. and throw it at you. Well, you know, I gotta flinch a little bit. You're a little unpredictable. You're a wild child, you know? I'm a child. I'm a flimmer child. <laughs> well, that's uh, it so far. I live by the, <laughs> I live by the sun and love by the moon. Something like that. Oh, no. Don't do that. <laughs> um, yeah, I just gotta put the side things on it. Alright, sick. This thing is, look at that, boom, two, two tools in there. Two tools in the whole damn box. Now, I assume it's like not super expensive because it's not like the bearing, you know? It's not like the drawers aren't real nice and slidey, but you know, I ain't bougie like that. I don't need that. I just need a big ass box like this, which isn't even big. This is big for me because I've been working out of that in this. So this is a big step up. All right, so don't talk shit. No, I like you. <laughs> well, this is slightly overwhelming. Yes, it right here. I'm gonna pretty much have to redo all this anyway, but I just got like random like specialty specialty things in here, just, like sockets like this. You know, just random shit. All the friggin' Allen keys, spanner wrenches, wheel lock, compression tester, brake line cutter. Um, bunch of wrenches. I'm gonna have to redo all this stuff because I want to get the. Uh, like the mats, and I want to actually glue them down too so they don't move. But I mean, looks like I have a lot more tools now than I did when it was all in that bag. Well, not all, but there's a bunch of other shit like pliers, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna get a bunch of screwdrivers. You know, you guys know. How's it going over here though? Yeah. Just sorting out sockets. You're the socket sorter of the evening. It's a good setup though. We're gonna get we're gonna get a little top box for that. That's kind of like this. I think it's like up to here, and it, it's the same thing. The top opens up, and I think it's like a four drawer from uh, Drew for like thirty bucks. And um, yeah, she should be good with that. All right. Well, I got the shop looking pretty decent. Like I said, everyone's like, "Why don't you get a toolbox? When you get better tools, this better tools, that more tools, this and that." You know, it takes time, but you know we're getting there. And I appreciate you guys for you know supporting me and making it so that I can do this for a living and do cool shit and work on my car and you know all, all the cool shit that a lot of people wish they could do I am doing and I'm very grateful for that very very appreciative for being able to do what I do but this is the first this is my first ever toolbox actual toolbox here's here's Cali setup and this is still way more legit than I ever had I never had a shop before any of this stuff like you know I never even had a rolling cart the closest I had is when I was detailing and I had like the plastic one like this with the little cup holders. And I'm pretty sure those are Harbor Freight also. But I mean, 30 bucks for this. Just basically, I spent like 100 bucks today to get Callie like kind of set up. She has her, you know, tools, stuff like that. She's never owned tools. She has her drift car. It's just a nice, it's nice to see someone who's never had tools, never had the, like always wanted to work on cars, always loved cars, and just never had the chance or like the resources to. It's nice to be able to help that person and it's my girlfriend so I can, you know, I just, it's, it's dope. It's a dope feeling to know that I can help out like this and set her up. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'm crazy excited. Like, it's just cool to see what YouTube is doing for me and what my true supporters are are doing for me so again I appreciate it thank you guys very much hang in there with me basically I'm trying to literally set up shop like tools tools wise organization wise just trying to maximize the space I can get out of this that's why I've been talking about the loft so much I, I literally might bring it out to here so that like literally half of this is upstairs that would be dope and I just need lighting for here but like I said I'm just trying to get myself centralized so I could start doing other shit and putting money towards other shit that is a little bit more, you know, involving and exciting. Like I want to I want to I want to do a lot. I have a lot of ideas. I'm a pretty creative person, so I you know, I have a lot of ideas, but 
we need to, we need to set up shop first. But anyways, like I said, that's enough rambling. It's way too much rambling. I gotta stop doing all the rambling at the end of the videos. Comment below if I should stop rambling at the end of the videos or if you like it because it explains stuff and because not many of you get to the end of, end of the videos anyway. But um, yeah, super excited about my box. Never had one. Um, super excited. Also, Callie never had tools or a drift car or anything like that, any resource to work on anything her own. So now she gets to actually learn and be involved, which is awesome and exactly what I wanted for her. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you again for supporting. Leave a like on this video if you want me to do more cool stuff like this. Helps the videos out, you know. And uh, turn on the notification bell. Some people have been saying that they don't get notifications, so just turn on the bell, subscribe if you haven't, hit the like button, help your boy out, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. And again, thank you for watching. Peace out, and have a good morning if you're in California.